So why does Putin always use the NATO excuse to attack Ukraine when the US is literally two miles away from their eastern border? Finland joined and its border is closer to the two major Russian cities than Ukraine's. It's just a BS excuse. Putin considers Ukraine to be part of Russia. He understands that if Ukraine is in NATO, he can't annex it. So basically a robber complains about guards in the bank. Because attacking over the Bering Strait is just strategically stupid, considering the heart of all governments and industry exist in Western Russia closer to Europe except perhaps Vladivostok. Also, NATO isn't just the US, you're forgetting all the European countries in the alliance, and a lot of them border Russia. That's why Putin uses the excuse that NATO is going to attack Russia, even though NATO has no intention to do so. Stop asking questions before you get sent to Gyalog. Plausible deniability. NATO has been slowly creeping up to Russia's borders and the EU is also making a lot of financial deals against Russia so Putin saying that it's because of NATO expansion is something he can say that sounds reasonable to the people not paying attention. In reality he's just an expansionist leader who wants to have puppet states around him to use as a shield because it's not impossible. It's just large land, few towns, mountains and forests. Not a single strategic place is on that side, it's gonna take ages for them to come to civilization, and the rest of the country could just prepare. It's basically lose this war side. Eastern Siberia isn't exactly an important strategic target, unlike Western Russia which has cities like St. Petersburg close to Finland. Because Alaska is too far away from populated Russia where their seat of power is. If the USA theoretically invaded Russia they would do so through Europe, not Alaska. It's also just a stupid excuse because no one would want that war if nobody started it. Russian bots appearing in 3, 2, 1. The NATO excise was basically them complaining at expanding US influence over their own. They cannot do anything about the Baltics, it's too late. But they don't want another and especially as large a post-Soviet country like Ukraine to be under Western influence. Remember the Cuba crisis? It's because of Crimea. Sevastopol is the base of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. If Ukraine joins or did any agreement with NATO, it could threaten their naval base. How would the US feel if Mexico joined Russia and they armed them like they've been doing in Ukraine since 2013? Why was US so worried about Cuba aligning with Russia? Putin also said the entire Ukrainian leadership were drug dealing actual real life Nazis. Putin does not care about the truth, and in a way, it doesn't matter. What he says goes. If he can lie and people agree with him either directly or indirectly by following his orders anyway then it makes him look even more powerful. When you stop looking at governments like they are normal people and start realizing they are an organized criminal enterprise, the choices they make are more logical. We live under a system of international anarchy. No one trusts anyone else. Pick your poison on the explanation. The poker game that everyone is cheating at. When you start looking at governments at thugs, the answers are more clear, because the useful idiots gobble it up and regurgitate that nonsense for the consumption of even bigger idiots whose votes, they hope, will erode Western support for defending freedom and democracy from Russian fascism and genocide. Just one of his conflicting bullshit excuses.